Hello and welcome to Into the Pit. If you like my channel, drop me a like below and subscribe or follow me on Instagram and TikTok. The Bay Area has brought forth so many killer bands. I mean, the list goes on. Forbidden, Violence, Exodus, Testament. Too many to mention, but one band I should definitely um, mention tonight is uh, The Mighty Heathen. And um, this one goes out to a friend of mine, Greg. I hope you're listening. Anyway, probably my fa favorite Heathen album of all time, Victims of Deception. Now, this is their second album. The first album was titled um, Breaking the Silence. This, the second album, um, produced by Heathen and Rob Beaton, is a crushing melodic thrash album um, with a guitar sound unlike I've ever heard on any other album. Um, the most, the best way to compare it is probably Ride the Lightning era, Master Puppets era Metallica, but yeah, it's a really heavy, forceful guitar sound, um, courtesy of uh, Lee Altus. Uh, you can actually hear him transporting that guitar sound over into Die Krups, the German industrial band uh, whom he played for for several albums. And uh, so it's that signature sound. Um, yeah, um, from Hypnotized through to Opiate of the Masses to Heathen's song, Kill the King, a cover version, Rainbow, obviously. And uh, Fear of the Unknown, Prisoners of Fate, Morbid Curiosity, Mercy is No Virtue, and Timeless Cell of Prophecy. This album thrashes. And um, it, this is a thrash metal, melodic thrash metal, I might say, a uh, milestone. And um, you can't uh, go wrong with this. Uh, if you don't already have this in your catalog, I think this belongs in every good and well-sorted thrash metal collection. Great artwork, by the way. Always loved the logo. and. Um, yeah, um, really the typical Bay Area thrash type riffing, um, but um, really melodic leads and, and guitar harmonies as well. So that's what they bring to the table, I think more so than any other Bay Area thrash band that ever existed. Um, sadly, they um, have, haven't released that many more albums or they weren't as prolific as other bands. Um, they've gone to release their latest, Empire of the Blind, which came out, I think, earlier this year or la end of last year. And there was an album in between. I don't have the title in my head at the moment, but yeah, not very prolific, the band. Um, but I think the seeing that Lee Altus has a lot to do with Exodus, Craig and Lum as well. And um, yeah, I think they're just very busy. And um, so we can't sort of expect an album every year. <laughs> but yes, if you don't own this uh, yet, Get it. This is um, top-notch Bay Area thrash. Doesn't get any better. <laughs> 